In the last video, I have explained how to install the Ghost blogging platform on an EC2 instance running on AWS. In this video, I will explain how to install custom themes, configure basic settings, and also backup your blog using the console, SSH, and AWS. Before we start, please consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more of content like this. It also tells me that you like this type of video and that I should produce more of them. So, let's get started. Let's start off by configuring a custom theme for Ghost. As you can see, there is a Ghost themes platform where you can download different themes. I am using the basic theme Lyra, so I can download this theme from either GitHub or the Marketplace. After you have downloaded the theme, you can open Visual Studio Code on any other editor you would like. Here I have opened the Lyra theme and I can open it and edit it just normally. Uh, for example, you have your partials, you have members, you have your CSS, build, and so on. If you want to change anything, you can just... Uh, the templating engine is handlebars, so you need to get familiar with handlebars a bit. And then you can create your custom code, custom themes, and develop basically the website as you would like to have it. You can use... Uh, it's basically the same as using WordPress, but just you're working here with JavaScript and handlebars. After you're finished with your theme, you can navigate to the design area. And here in the design area, you have the option to upload the theme. You just can, if you have already uploaded the theme, you can just click on activate and activate different themes. But if you want to upload the theme, just click upload and then you can drag and drop the theme you would like to upload. Here I have already prepared a theme. Basically, you can just drag and drop it over here and then you can upload the theme and that's it. While you're uploading the theme, there is also a check going on to check if you have configured everything all right. But if you would like to check it again, you can type in Ghost Theme Checker, uh, the official tool to test your Ghost themes. And here you can just upload your theme. You can set the Ghost version you're using and then you can uh, start scanning the theme, which will tell you if your theme has any problems or not. Um, so basically, when you are done with uploading the theme and designing the theme, you should be able to see the changes directly already uploaded to Ghost. So the things you can change, one of the most important things is in the general area, where you can change your logos, your images, your metadata, uh, your social accounts and so on. It's pretty much self-explanatory. If you want to change SEO data, you need to go into posts, then you can open a post and there you can also change uh, how the data is being seen on Google and how the data is being displayed on your website. If you want to enable members, for example, you can here see the members. If you want to enable or disable subscriptions for members, you can go into labs where you can enable or disable members. You can also connect to Scribe. You can see your subscription pricing, you can allow free member signups and so on. You can also configure a mailing service with using Mailgun, but for example here I'm using AWS for mailing, which you will need to SSH into the instance and adapt it there. Then you have also integrations where you can integrate different tools or plugins. You also have code injections where you can inject different code into your headers or footers. For example, if you're using Google Analytics, you will get a code from Google Analytics, which you can just paste in inside the code injection, as I have done here, for example. Now, when it comes to saving your data, the first option is to do it through the console. You can just go to Labs. Now, you should be able to uh, you should be able to export all your settings. Uh, here, in export your content, you can download all your posts and settings in a single JSON file by just clicking export. But the problem with this is that your images are not going to be exported. All your posts and settings are going to be exported, but without the images. Since all you will receive is a JSON file saved in a JSON format, so any other assets you have won't be saved there. You can also upload and download your current routes. And you can also upload and download your current redirects that are also saved as either JSON or YAML files. Now, for the next step, 
you can uh, SSH into your instance. So go to your running instances, uh, see your web server, copy the public IP address and open Putty. Uh, if you're not familiar with how to use Putty, you can also see it in my other video where I am basically showing you how to configure Ghost on EC2 on AWS. So in order to log in, type the username and the IP address and uh, use your key pair. As I have already mentioned, you can check this out in the other video if you're not familiar with how to do that. Now click open, you should be able to connect with the SSH instance. Now navigate to your var www folder. If you click ls you should be able to see ghost here. What you can do now is type in sudo cp for copy minus r recursive. Uh, we want to copy everything from the ghost folder into a backup folder. We can call it whatever we want. We could call it just backup ghost click enter and everything should be now copied from your ghost folder into your backup ghost folder. You should also maybe stop the instance to be sure that everything that's being copied uh, is copied at that consistent state you would like to save. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not doing this. I'm just copying it as like this. And now if you click LS, you should be able to have a backup ghost folder where we have backed up this moment state of ghost. And the third, third and final way of backing up your server, uh, which I do in most cases, if you are if you want to back up something, some bigger changes, is go to your volumes. You should be able to see your volumes. Uh, what you can do now is you just click on it and then you can create a snapshot. By creating a snapshot, uh, the current state of your entire volume will be saved at that point. What this means is if you are for example, one day deciding to use a bigger EC2 instance, you can just attach that volume to another EC2 instance. How you would do that is you would go to your EC2 instance, you would for example stop that instance, you would deattach the volume, you would attach the new volume to that instance and then you would start it up again. And you can see your snapshots inside of here, you can name them whatever you want and now you are 100% safe that whatever happens to your server, you will always have a snapshot at that exact time and moment. You won't have to install anything new. You just spin up a new EC2 instance and you can attach that new snapshot to it. I would prefer doing this way once in a while to be absolutely sure that your current state of server is saved there. This was quite a short video. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, consider subscribing to the channel to see more upcoming videos about software engineering, career and business. You can also subscribe to the newsletter. The link is in the description below or just wait till the end screen of this video to see it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.